It's another exciting good morning and welcome to Salon Morning Discoveries with me, Ibrahim Temukama. Today, I uh, get why young man will can tell you a name and what they don't they do as an organization. All right, hello and welcome to the Salon Morning Discovery. Yes, good morning and thank you so much for having me. All right, you can tell from your name and what I don't they do as an organization. Okay. So, my name is Raymond Boima, and I come up from Promising Future Leaders Organization. And Promising Future Leaders is a youth-led organization. We currently are a non-profit organization, non-governmental and non-denominational. Okay, and we always get the sole responsibility for provide a platform for growth for every picking and young person in the county area. And we look at for move on bigger across the globe by the special grace of God. Okay, looking at the name and uh, its motto, uh, Promising Future Leaders, which specific area we going to look at so of as an organization? Okay, so as an organization, ever since we come into existence, we've done the function in the academic side, the educational background. Okay, so on a specific when they look at the education aspect. Yeah. What are the other areas? Well, not so like we actually know we look at the other areas, okay, but in as much as we look at growth in the lives of children and young people, and we see it as the most vital, okay, and probably the other areas can come later, but we sole aim and we focus currently on the academic. Okay. Looking at um, the academic area, we find out the current situation about examinations and how schools have done their work. So, with no ethics, with no rules, we do not do towards anything there in terms of monitoring schools and other okay. institutions, learning institutions. Okay, and we, as promising future leaders, as I indicate first, we actually not on the two get into issues like that because we are, if I can say, a baby organization at the moment, okay. a group of young people, and possibly for now, now we don't reform the BCF. So we not only go into all of them so much activities, okay, in that aspect, all right? So we we only don't they like reach out to schools and we currently doing our locality okay. as a KC, the KC part, and we don't really reach out to them in likes of the every nation, the new life, to have a monitor and to have a talk to the picking them and tell them few important things where everybody won't forget in the months. All right, talking about the education sector, we own the look at and yeah. own the own the main targets now going forward, own the sustainable development going forward. We're now look at it, looking at quality education. So, what in and what in coin we can actually do annual? Yes, yeah, so annually we don't the organize inter school spelling the competition. Okay, and for the past two years, and this year will be the mm -hmm. number third, we don't they do annual spelling the competition among schools that is the primary level and the junior secondary level as well. Okay, so how do we do this? How do we go about that? Okay, so basically, when we can go and give we, the letters of invitation to the schools, we can go again and give out the spellings as the spelling B um, standard can permit we for do so. We can go out and give the spellings and give a guide to the schools. So now they give the spellings and the guides to the yes, schools. Yes, yes. Where they can take yeah. the Competition. Yeah, because okay. we, we actually came out for prevent some amount of commotion okay. and we want for for like move on with the amount of integrity and dignity 
we we always don't stand for because we know we want to probably get so much commotion when it comes to the competition because competition gets in your spirit. Oh, yeah. Despite those guys are teachers, you want to be the kid and pick and go, but they could be in a different mood when it comes to competition. So we can now present the rules and tell them waiting and waiting the judges and the lookout for. And we always can go to the schools and monitor and we said we do be on orientation. Okay, and tell for the oriented beginning as to the program. Alright, that's now Raymond Boyma we come up from the promise of future leaders. We didn't go for short break. Oh we can we go can look at meeting and meeting the body face as an organization and the impacts we the organization creates since its existence. Break, I still get with me Raymond Boema. Welcome out from the promising future leaders. So, Boema, we like you, they mentioned how Una don't they go about the spellings when it comes to credibility. How they wait to know credibility of the program, the credibility of the organization and the program. Because I want thing we in that the progress of then kind of our programs. In the Yes, and obviously we self, we self get that in mind because let's say we are an organization we by the special grace of God get to go far. So, like I tell you, one reason why we give them spellings in the, and another reason why we go and give um, the spelling competition guide is because we want to maintain the amount of integrity and the credibility with the organization don't get. Okay, so basically, we are credible. Okay, we are credible, and we know we can continue to be credible. All right. So, organizing such events, especially when it comes to educational activities, that thing we involve a lot of finance. Yeah. So, how we can get to our funding? Okay. <clears throat> so over the years, we done the first the task reset because as young people and uh, with this initiative we first of all believe in everything we do uh, from me down to every other every other person within the organization truly believe in this vision truly believe in this initiative and we know say it will bring out good results in the, the lives of the beginning and the young people so we done the first the task reset and to some point we can do something like Written proposals of which we can give out to some personalities. Sometimes we can receive the actual help where we can need, but sometimes no. So, like for the last program, and we found okay, we, we actually found the program we have found we, ourselves. Yes, we do found the money. And so, this year we also look forward to. Receiving from people by the special piece of God. Okay, now look out for to sponsorship. Yeah. All right. Yeah. So looking at organizing and competition, it gets things um, we the BM. We are in the star prize. Okay. On a key put with everything in a key put as star prize. Okay, so in case of this star prize, being that now we been done this one to reset. We actually just done the gig school materials and there's not been anything like cash prizes right. for the past two years. The first one we will do in an individual spelling competition for individual participants have been school materials. And for last year also we in our schools now been also school materials. So but for this year, God willing, if we get the actual sponsorship we will need, we will get for gig school materials along with cash prices. Okay, looking at um, we don't mention all the area there. When now uh, this spelling be okay, so the spelling be scheduled for happen on the twenty seventh of October twenty twenty three. Okay. That my next month. Yes, the last Friday in October. Alright. Yeah. So you mentioned about 
how we are going to go about these things. So looking at the preparation this time around, how we are going to go about that because like you mentioned next month yeah. and I just uh something like a few weeks, weeks to the program. To the program. How my long go about and reaching out to the schools, parents, and myself as our organization. Yes, yeah, so firstly we we don't write we invitation letters then to the schools and we don't reach out to all the schools then we for participate and we don't give them and they, they actually don't give a good reception and they don't promise to be part by the special reason because this week we gave okay the spelling thing the rules then and we also don't prepare we request uh, and propose okay with the budget and the photos of the previous program okay so in case probably you want for help and you need evidence to the, the Issues. All right. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. So, what's the uh, challenges that we face as an organization? Okay. Basically, we are we are face financial challenge. Yeah, because we actually don't get initiatives then, but not all of them they push through because of the financial challenges. Okay, but the the, the aspect of commitment were there. Okay, just need certain people to actually see this young set of people bringing up this amount of initiatives therefore just give support so if i can say in a in a broad manner we don't need get financial challenge okay so this program a uh, federal program the event if in the pay for coming no it's a free okay it's All an right. absolute free so program. um what's my time uh 10 a.m in the morning all right, thank you very much. Um, all right, we don't get from the boy man, we come up from the promising future leaders. We really come up with them um, in our school spelling bee, and the time for that is going to be 10 o'clock, and the date is October 30th, 2023. Today, now, so I will draw the curtains of Salon Morning Discovery with me, Ibrahim Temu Kamara. Plenty thank you to me, cameraman Abu Bakar Chawali and Mohamed Shaggy Kago and to executive producer Dr. Aisati Kake Jalo. Till we meet again for another exclusive Salon Morning Discovery. Me, now Ibrahim Temu Kamara. Thank you.